Did you know you can use operation stock as a boundary to control where your toolpath is generated? Let's take a look. When it comes to 3D machining, where your toolpath is created and where it isn't, a lot of times is the difference between success and failure. Like in this example here, you can see that we have a pocket toolpath happening in this cutaway here that we would actually do in a different setup. Now you could use boundaries to control where the toolpath is cutting, but there is a more powerful feature that we can use, and this is called Operation Stock. To set up Operation Stock is easy. All you need to do is model in 3D where the material is that you want to target. Like in this example, this orange model represents the, the material that I want to target. So once I have that modeled, I can go over to my Operation Stock, choose Reselect. We're going to choose the Solid Model method. We'll select the Solid Model, and then we'll hit our spacebar and choose OK. At this point, the software now knows that this is our operation stock, and that is the material we're gonna target with this operation. Now, all we have to do is recompute our toolpath, and the toolpath will be updated just to target where the material is. To learn about tips and tricks using Bobcat, call us today, or subscribe to our channel for next week's tip. See you then.